Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Flash in a Pan and today I'm gonna make you something really interesting. Spicy asparagus beef skewers, look at that. And all those colors on the plate. I think you're gonna be enjoying making it with me. Everybody and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today we're going to make something really special. Spicy asparagus beef skewers with my own little twist and I hope you will enjoy it with me. So let's start. First we need the beef, that's what we need. And a knife. And actually let's get the asparagus because they look good on the table too. Here we are. Let's just take four of them, or maybe let's take five. Why not? The more the merrier. I'm gonna cut off this dry bit here. Put it away and put this aside. I'm gonna take the beef. I'm gonna chop this in half because it's a little bit too big. Remember it's skewers, so we're gonna be using these asparagus pieces, lovely and green, and we're gonna use them as skewers. Isn't that clever? There we go, take another. Cut that in half. And then we're gonna try and put them in the asparagus. Oh, there we go. So. Let's go ahead, let's try this. I'm gonna put it from this side because I don't want that bit to break. So I'm just gonna push it in from here. Like this. Let's say like five beef cubes in each. Look at this. Asparagus skewer. Clever, right? Now let's make a few more to brown it up a bit and then use the sauce at the end with it to make it nice and juicy because we don't like it when the food is dry. No one enjoys dry food. There. Am I mixing up? Yes, there is more here. So let's put this one in this other piece. Like that. This one we can afford making it into two pieces, just like this. There we are. And the last two. There we go. One and two. Actually, can't leave that last lonely piece in the bowl. Last beef. And also glide it through. Ta da! <laughs> that looks lovely, looks cute. So now let's make the marinade. Put this away. So let's get a bowl and a spoon and get our ingredients. We're gonna have a little bit of honey. So let's say a tablespoon, something like that. Ta da! Nice and clear golden honey. Gonna get some sesame oil. And I'm gonna put one, two, three tablespoons. Put it away. Put some soy sauce. And let's see. That is one spoon and two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm gonna add a bit of lemon to that. So here we go. Mix it up a bit together and add a squeeze of lemon or two. 
all three. <laughs> Basically, a tablespoon. There we go, mix it up well. Let's mix it nice together. We are going to add the chili flakes. I love chili flakes in cooking because when you want that hot, spicy taste and flavor, I like it because of its texture, because actually it looks lovely in the cooking. You know, the red, you know, colorful flakes, red and yellow, it just looks nice. So I'm just gonna add two pinches like that. Mix it well together. And we're going to marinate those beef skewers. I will need probably a plate for that. So let me just get a plate and we'll put those skewers inside it and soak them in our sauce. Okay, so here we are, that's our plate. Let's put this aside, put the plate there and put our skewers in the plate. There we go. And pour this over, just all around it. Soak it, every piece of it, as much of it as possible. And I'm going to get my hands dirty now. I'm going to rub it in. Make sure that every bit of the beef and the asparagus is soaked in this lovely, lovely sauce. I can smell the honey, I can smell the soy sauce and the lemon mm, and the sesame oil. It's nice and lovely. We're gonna leave it to soak in it a little bit. If you leave it in the fridge for about an hour or maybe even like half hour if you're, if you're too much in a hurry. And then after that, we're going to be frying it together. Okay, so it's been in the fridge for about half hour now and I think it's enough because we're all hungry, we wanna eat, so we're just gonna start frying it right away. So taking it out and I'm gonna start frying it. Get the oil, put it in the frying pan. Not too much because we're going to be covering it with the lid as well so that it cooks well from the inside. We don't want it raw. There we go. Just wait for it to heat up a little bit, the oil. Put this aside like that here and I'm going to make the sauce for the last bit, basically, we, I like to have it a little bit more juicy. I don't, I don't want it to be just dry. So I'm going to make some sauce for it to add at the end, at the top, on the top of it. So take that frying pan, put it here. I'm going to use the similar ingredients. I'm going to use the same ingredients as as for the marinade, but I'm going to add to it some vegetable stock to give it a bit more, whatever flavor. So here we are. Uh, we had the honey. Just a little bit of honey, not much. We had the soy sauce. There it is. Again, about like two tablespoons or so. And then we're gonna fry it obviously with the sesame oil. So there we are, sesame oil. And I'm going to use just half a cube of vegetable stock. So I'm gonna take that out. There we are. And I'm gonna cut it in half. Like that. And just use this little bit in there. And I will add a bit of water to it, but first I'm going to mix it together and of course put the hob on. There. So we'll add and we'll add that uh, and we'll add that lemon and the chili flakes. Okay, so we're gonna put that water, add to it. Just a tiny bit, like half a cup of water maybe something like that, mix it together, 
I'm going to, I think the oil is quite hot right now, so I'm gonna add my skewers. Okay, so here I am, gonna add this together. Woo, just like that. Get the sauce and add it with the rest of the sauce, not to waste it. So I'm just gonna fry it quickly, brown it up a bit before turning the heat low so it cooks from the inside as well. So I'm gonna get the other one too. There. Can you see that? I'll show you in a minute. Let me just turn them over first. So that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to color a bit and then to leave them to cook for this. So just really high heat, just for them to brown up a bit. And then we'll put the lid on, just like that, and keep it on a low heat to cook properly. That's it, and then let's have a look at our sauce now. Let's see, we needed the lemon for that. So I'm gonna squeeze that lemon properly there, the rest of it. With the help of the knife, get some of those lemon pieces in. That's absolutely fine. There we go. I like my food to be really lemony. I like it sweet and sour. There we go. And we, not to forget the chili flakes. Just a tiny bit. There it is. Mix it up all together. And let's taste it. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. Still waiting for our beef to be done. Meanwhile, I'm going to fry a bit of baby sweet corn and some red peppers for just to have on the side. That would be nice. So I'm gonna use the same saucepan. Put the sauce away or aside for a while. And I'm gonna put it back on the hob. Put it low for now. Gonna get a bit of pepper and a bit of sweet corn baby sweet corn and a knife of course a smaller knife is more than enough and I'm gonna just get some slices nice and big I don't want them tiny because I want to see the shapes we're gonna be displaying them nicely on the plate so we need them to be you know a bit big and I'm not going to cut this I'm just gonna cut that last bit here because the red and the yellow will be really lovely with asparagus. So we're just going to chuck them all in the frying pan. It still has a bit of that oil and from the sauce. And we're going to fry them real quick on very high heat. Uh, because we don't want them to be melting. We just want them, like, just like a stir fry, how we do it in a stir fry. We put them on really high heat and cook them quickly. here. It's absolutely good. Looks great. I'm going to add a little bit of more oil because that makes it fry nicer basically. So here we are waiting for the beef to get done while we're making the side veggies. Lovely side veggies. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of salt. And that's our salt. Make sure it's not the pepper, although it's not gonna harm anything. But we want it to be the salt. There we go. Put that back there. Put 
mix it up a bit more. Okay, so we just cleaned up. Let's get the plate out. And right there. Get our skewers out. Mm, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. One by one. Nice and lovely. Nicely charred. There we go. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. Okay, let's put the vegetables. There they are. Nice sweet corn. Okay, all of it. Make sure we get everything on the plate. Oops, there it is. Look at the lovely colors, the variety of colors. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, not to forget our sauce. So here we are. I'm just gonna pour it over it because I want it to be soft and juicy. And lovely, it gets all the flavors that we wanted to have. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of um, spring onions on it and uh, maybe a squeeze of lemon. Here we are. Just a bit of spring onions and squeeze the lemon right at the end. And there we go. Asparagus beef skewers.